Welcome everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started. In today's webinar, we'll be covering the topic of using Conga Composer with Google Drive and Google Docs. My name is Teresa Bowerly and I'm a Learning and Development Specialist here at Conga and I look forward to taking you through today's session. Before we get started, we're going to make a couple of assumptions. Uh, one, we're going to assume that you are a Salesforce admin and that you've installed Conga Composer from the Salesforce App Exchange and you have been using Conga Composer to create um, some of your own Conga Composer solutions. So some of the reasons why you might be interested in using Google Drive uh, with Conga Composer is that you're currently working and using Conga Composer to generate your letters, quotes, and invoices in a Word document. Um, but now your team would like to share and have access to certain templates and letters so that they can edit on the fly and make sure everyone has access to the most recent version um, and your business is kind of moving more towards the cloud. Uh, Conga Composer integrates with Google Drive, so um, it makes it possible to create and deploy Conga Composer solutions completely in the cloud. So this opens up a whole new world of possibilities to you as you're no longer limited to just storing your files within Salesforce and um, trying to worry about making sure people have access to your um, specific templates and things like that. So by the end of today's session, um, you will know how to store Conga Composer templates in Google Drive using Conga parameters. And we'll show you a list of those parameters in just a moment here. Uh, you'll You'll know how to generate Conga Composer output file as a Google Doc. Uh, create, you'll learn how to create a file path for your Conga Composer templates. And then finally, we'll be reviewing our background mode, um, which allows you to run the Composer user interface in the background um, to avoid having your end users having the option to um, click through the UI. This way, they only have to click one button, um, and it'll send a copy of your template to Google Drive. So here's a list of the parameters that we're going to be working with today. These parameters make it possible for the integration process to happen with Conga Composer and Google Drive. Um, and please note these specific parameters are not just specific to Google. For example, SC1, that parameter, defines the location of where you would like Conga Composer to store an output file. So you can actually have the option when using that parameter, you can store an output file to attachments, content, chatter, and Spring CM. So it's not just specific to Google. But first we'll walk through um, on how to enable the save save the copy feature within Conga Composer. We'll define the location to be Google Drive. Um, we'll create a Google Doc on the fly using Google Visible. Um, we'll create a file path in Google Drive for, the, for our documents. Um, and then finally, we'll run this process in background mode. So these are the parameters we're going to be um, covering in today's session. Uh, so I'm going to just exit out of my PowerPoint here. and. First, I'd like to show you where I accessed those parameters. So if you go to our support page, which is congasphere.com, and you select index of parameters, this will take you uh, to an article that has all of our parameters that you can use um, to um, help your solutions to kind of be more customized and streamlined. Um, but here you'll go ahead and pick the category of Google Drive parameters. and then it's going to pull up this article that has all the parameters we're going to be talking about today. So just in case you want to follow along with me or access these later, you can find those on our support page. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by editing an existing button. We're going to add some of these parameters and kind of just start testing out the integration process with Google Drive. So here I have my existing button and I'm going to go ahead and start adding our parameters here. So as I mentioned before, um, ampersand SC0, that enables the option to save a copy. And I'll show you once we get into the UI to test this out where exactly that gets updated. But for now, let's just go ahead and type in ampersand SC0 equals and set the value to 1. So that's going to turn on that capability, tell Conga Composer we'd like to save a copy. And then next, we'll use ampersand 
SC1. And remember, I was mentioning earlier, this is going to define or tell Conga the location of where we want our output file um, to be stored. So in our case, we want it to be in Google Drive. So I'm just going to type Google there. So not too hard. Those are just kind of two parameters to get us started here. But let's do a quick save and go test this option out. I'm going to go back to an existing opportunity and I'm going to run my Congo Composer button here and I'll show you how the parameters updated some um, pieces here in the UI. So note that under save a copy the box has been abled so that was because we used ampersand SC0 equals 1 so Conga automatically updated that for us and then also it updated um, the location to Google Drive and that was by using the ampersand SC1 equals Google. So that's what those two parameters did, automatically updated those two options for us here in the Composer UI. So I'm going to click Merge and Download. And as you'll notice, you've got a Google option that pops up here. So when you're using Google Drive with Conga Composer for the first time, you want to ensure that Google Drive is deployed in your Google account. Um, so if you have a Google account and you haven't opened up Drive yet or installed it, you'll want to go ahead and do that. And so then the first time you run Conga Composer um, using Google integration, you will be prompted to log into your Google account to allow Conga to access Drive to store your documents. So that's what's happening here. Um, it want, it, it's prompting us to get signed in to that specific account we want to have Conga store our documents. So I'm going to go ahead and just sign in there and it's going to generate our document here. Um, it's going to create a Word file for us this time because um, that's what the default is. Um, so I actually don't really want to open this in Word. I'm just going to close it out. I just wanted to show you guys um, what that looks like when you're first uh, merging your documents and connecting it with Google Drive. So I'm just going to hit cancel here. I'm going to close this and I'm going to go actually over to my Gmail account. I'm going to sign in real quick and then we're going to go look at our Drive folder and see if Conga stored a copy of our document there. So again, I'm going to go to Drive and all right, there we have it. So under my drive here, we have a folder called Conga Documents. Now you should know that on um, by default, Conga Composer creates this folder for you. So if you do not already have a designated file path set up, um, like the one I'm going to show you in just a minute here, Conga Composer will create this folder for you. Um, and then it's going to store the output file um, document that you just created. So there's our Word document right here. Perfect. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty simple. It's not too hard to uh, get those parameters set up. Um, and it's pretty neat that Conga Composer creates that folder for you. So you don't have to worry about where um, that document's going to go once you send it in there. But all right, so let's go back to our button and add some more parameters. So now that we saw the process of saving a copy and um, that output file being sent to Google Drive, let's say you just want to go ahead and open up a, um, let's say you want to generate a Congo Composer solution but have it be in a Google Doc right away. You can do that by using the parameter called um, ampersand Google Visible. So let's go ahead and type that here. And we're going to set that value equal to 1. So that's going to turn on that process for us. So let's again do a quick save and we'll go back to our opportunity. And I'm going to go ahead and just refresh this since we've we're making some changes to that button behind the scenes. So we're going to go ahead and run our Conga Composer solution here. And now instead of um, generating a Word document, it's going to create a Google Doc. So um, if you'll notice, we have our output options updated for us here. It says Google Docs. And now the Save Copy option is Google Docs. And then our button here has been updated to Merge and Google Docs. So let's go ahead and run that. and watch Conga create a Google Doc for us rather than a Word document. So it's going to generate that for us here and pop up on our screen. All right, so very cool. Here's our Google Docs. So um, by using uh, the parameter called uh, Google Visible, this allowed us cr to create that Google Doc right on the fly. So that's pretty cool. Um, and if we go back to our um, Google account in our drive folder uh, and we go ahead and click into Congo documents. Now it's going to show that we have created that Google uh, doc for us right here, right in here in our folder. So it also saved a copy for us as well. 
So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to our existing button and add in another parameter. So as I mentioned earlier, um, by default, Conga Composer creates this folder called Conga Documents in your Google Drive. But let's say you want to create a specific file path um, and have a shared folder that your end users can have access to. But you can do that by using a parameter called OFP. So let's go ahead and type in OFP equals, and then we can go ahead and name what we want that folder to be called. So let's call it team folder. And then if we enter a backslash here, that's going to designate um, that we'd like to create a path. So we're going to create this folder, and then within that folder, we're going to have another um, path for our specific um, letter to go to. And I'm actually just going to insert um, opportunity name. So we'll go ahead and do a quick save. And now we'll go back to our existing button here, quick refresh, and we'll run our solution again and check out the file path that we just created. So this is definitely helpful if um, you've got a large team and you want certain documents to be stored in certain files for certain people to access. All right, so we'll just run our solution again and it's going to create an, uh, another Google Doc for us. So we'll go ahead and just let it run. Um, but now this Google Doc should be stored in our specific file path that we just created for it. Okay, great. So there is our Google Doc. I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back to Drive here. And you'll notice now in addition to Conga Documents, we, ha we now have a folder called Team Folder. So that's the folder we just named in our Conga button just to go back for you. So there's team folder and here's team folder and then we select in there and now we have Flatirons technology folder which was the opportunity name which we designated that file path to go to and then there is a copy of our word um, or excuse me there is a copy of our Google Doc right there in the folder. So that's pretty easy as well to set up that file path not too not too tricky. All right let's go back and cover one final parameter. Um, I wanted to show you guys the background mode parameter. Congo Composer's background mode is once that's enabled, um, we'll send the merge document um, and uh, save a copy in Google Drive. So background mode, if you're not familiar with that, basically what it does is it runs the Composer solution, um, but it takes away the UI window so that Essentially, all your end users just see, they'll click a button and they'll just see the process running, but they won't be prompted um, in the normal UI, which, we were, which we've been working in today, um, as far as having the option to choose an output file type and, um, you know, a location to store it or choose a certain template. All those options go away in background mode for the end users, so some people like to use this to avoid less confusion if they have multiple users. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll add that parameter here. So. Um, for Google Drive, the background mode is DS7 equals 19. So again, let's just go ahead and do a quick save and we'll go to our opportunity. Again, I'm just going to do a quick refresh and we'll go ahead and run our button. So now you'll see instead of getting the normal UI, we have a smaller window here and there's no options. It's just um, showing us the progress uh, and as you can see there's no UI options of choosing an output file type or a specific template. Um, it just runs simply in the background mode so it's pretty simple for the end users and avoids less confusion. Okay great so it opened up our Word document or excuse me it opened up our Google Doc here so I'm just going to close that um, and then again if we go back to Google Drive we'll go back to our team folder Flatirons, and now you'll see we have another copy of that Google Doc there. So pretty simple stuff, not too tricky, but it's a nice little feature to have, um, especially you know if you're needing to share certain output files um, with other team members and you can't you know, and you don't have access to your computer. Um, it's a great option to use these integration processes. So I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint here and. Um, just kind of go back to our last slides here. So what else can you do with Google Drive? Um, there's just a couple of things I wanted to mention to you guys. So Conga Composer has a couple of add-on products, which is Conga Conductor and Conga Workflow. So these products are used to batch and schedule Conga documents, emails, and reports. So you can also use um, 
the Google integration process um, when you're using Conga Conductor and Conga Workflow in case you need to store certain copies of these batched and scheduled outputs. So just wanted to note that in case you're someone who uses Conga Conductor or Workflow. And then finally, if you're someone who um, does not have access to Microsoft Word or um, you're in a location where you don't have access to Microsoft Word but you're needing to generate or create um, a Conga Composer template, you can do that using Google Docs. So basically you can use the Conga Template Builder and add text-based merge fields right into a Google uh, Doc and create a full Conga Composer template. So that's also a cool feature. All right. Well, that's everything I wanted to show you guys today. Thanks for joining us, and hopefully you found it helpful to learn a little bit more about how Congo Composer integrates with Google Drive. I just wanted to point out some of these resources here. Um, on our Conga support page, which is congosphere.com, um, you do have access to um, a link called Conga University. And if you're new to Conga Composer and you're just getting started, um, Conga University is a great way to get up and running quickly. Uh, we have a couple of options. We have a couple of self-paced self courses. And then we have instructor-led courses that are in a virtual classroom. So um, this is helpful if you don't have time to read through the documentation, um, but you kind of like being guided through this process. You, I encourage you to I encourage you to definitely check out Conga University. Um, and then um, you also have access to the webinar archive, which is where our um, webinar from today will be stored. You have access to the index of Conga Composer parameters, which is where I showed you um, a list of parameters that we use today. You can also get access to our Quick Start library. Um, this is helpful if you're just starting to build templates. You can um, download a, one of the templates that are listed in there and use those to help you start creating your Congo Composer solutions. Um, and then we have documentation. And then on our website, we also have use cases on how our customers are using Congo Composer. So I definitely encourage you to go out and explore. Um, we hope you found this useful. And as always, please contact us if you have any questions. Thanks so much for your time today. Have a great day.